So, what is in? When we talk about momentum transport or energy transport, in and out term supposed to be flux multiplied by cross-section area. The flux in this case is represented by combined flux of species A and combined flux of species A going out. Here as Z, there as Z plus delta Z. Okay? So in term supposed to be NA in Z direction because right now we have mass transport in Z direction only. It takes place at coordinate Z. The flux here is supposed to be multiplied by the cross section area, the area perpendicular to the flux. Let's call it S. Okay, S here is defined as the cross-section area of your system. Output is the flux at Z plus delta Z times cross-section area as well. Is there any generation? No generation term in this case because there is no reaction. It is simply just evaporation. Okay. Does evaporation or does the phase change count as generation? Right now we have phase change from liquid phase to vapor phase. Does it count as generation? No, it's not. Generation is usually associated with reaction. All right? So these two terms combined equal to zero as steady state. So if you take the whole equation and divide it by S, S will be dropped out, divided by delta Z for both sides, this one becomes zero as well. And then you take limit delta Z approaching zero. What you have would be minus DNA Z by DZ equal to zero. If you integrate it, it means you have NAZ equal to constant. In other words, the flux of A is constant with respect to position in Z direction. So flux of A at the bottom and at the top part supposed to be equal. All right? Now, this is chair balance. Next, just like in our um, energy transport, we set up shear balance. Then we need to convert this flux term back into measuring term. Like in energy balance, we change co the combined energy flux into temperature using Fourier law. In our case here, we will do the same thing. We will convert the combined mol molar flux here into concentration. But we can do that using this definition, NAZ supposed to be equal to JA star in Z direction plus XA NAZ plus NBZ. JA star is molecular flux. In our case, how many species do we have? Two or three? Two or three. We have water and we have air. Does air count as one species? For some, air is oxygen and nitrogen. But you can count air together. I mean, count nitrogen and oxygen in the, in the constant ratio to be called air as long as you can find properties of air and the concentration of nitrogen and oxygen does not change with respect to position then you can say that air is just one single species okay so we have two species binary system for binary system the molecular flux can be represented using Fick's law for Fick's law it is equal to minus C 
DAB del XA. Of course, in Z direction, del XA can be reduced to partial differentiation of XA with respect to Z. This term remains the same. All right. So before we can move NAZ from the right hand side to join the left hand side, you need to somehow eliminate this NBZ. There's several ways. For this particular example, I'm going to say that NBZ is zero. Why? How can I do that? It can be done based on this assumption. If I assume that liquid is already saturated with air or with species B, it means that the liquid is, I mean, air from vapor already dissolved in A to reach maximum concentration. Therefore, B can no longer dissolve further in the liquid. Okay? What does it tell you? From this assumption, if you take the system and split them into two parts, liquid part and vapor part. Again, as I said frequently, we never use two phases in one system. So we split them into two systems instead. Okay? If you look for species B, do you think in your system there, is there any change in concentration of B in your system? Question is, do you think concentration of B here and concentration of B there are equal? No, they're not. They're not equal, right? So it is likely that su they're supposed to be flux of B, right? Whenever you have difference in concentration, they're supposed to be flux. Flux is moving from high concentration down to low concentration, okay? So, the flux of B can be said that you have NB going in, NB going out, all right? If I take the balance of B and do same thing again. Input right now is supposed to be NBZ. Now you take the shell balance of B. All right. Down here is NBZ as Z plus delta Z. Here it is NBZ as Z. Right. So if I bring these two terms into shell balance, you have NBC as C plus delta C to be input term multiplied by cross section area minus NBC as Z times S equal to zero. You repeat the same process, remove S from equation divided by delta Z takes limit, you will end up with dNBZ by dz equal to zero. Or NBZ is constant. What does it mean? It means that the flux of B up here and down here are equal, right? They are equal. Okay? 
Now, this equation was obtained from this system. But if you change your concentration, I mean, if you change your focus to look for this system instead, the liquid system, any B that's come from vapor supposed to go into liquid phase directly. The flux here and flux there supposed to be equal because these two phases are in fact in contact. All right? So NB here and NB there are essentially the same. They are the same. Okay? So if you take a balance for liquid phase, is there any output of B from the liquid? No. There's only input term. Okay? So input is equal to accumulation. But under this assumption, if my liquid here is already saturated with B, it means that B can no longer dissolve into liquid. Okay? So it means that flux here, NBZ, at the interface of the liquid, supposed to be zero. Because it can no longer dissolve into liquid, flux supposed to be zero. So if it is zero here, it is zero there. So the flux, if you, if you consider from vapor side, the flux from vapor side supposed to be equal to flux from liquid side, always. The one from liquid side is zero. The flux from vapor, vapor side is supposed to be zero as well. Right? So if it is zero, now consider vapor side. Flux in vapor side is constant equal to zero. That means it is zero everywhere. Okay? Understand? So if it is zero everywhere, then I can drop this term. On the other hand, if you repeat the same process, if you take vapor system and you take liquid system, but now if you look for A, species A, flux of A, NAZ, this is NAZ, from shell balance, balance around here, you get NAZ equal to constant from shear balance. Okay? Earlier, we set up shear balance for A. We end up with the equation that NAZ is constant because DNAZ by DC equal to zero. That means flux of A here, flux of A there are equal. Also, if you take the overall I mean, if you take the mass balance around the interface, you should get that NAZ here and there are equal. Okay? Now, is it zero? It's not zero because right now, concentration of A in vapor has not reached saturation yet. So A can still evaporate into vapor phase. So this term is not zero. If this one is zero, it's not zero. This one is not zero as well. So it is not zero all the way. Okay? So you need to consider whether or not your species, the species of consideration, can go across the phase. Like when you consider Species B, we, s we determine that B from vapor cannot dissolve in liquid. 
that's why NB is equal to zero. But for A, A from liquid is allowed to go in vapor. So NA is not zero. <laughs>